In this lecture, you will get to know the ISO 27000 family of standards. The ISO 27000 family of standards is a series of interrelated standards that can be combined to form a comprehensive framework for information security management. There are four categories of standards within this family. Standards describing overview and terminology, standards specifying requirements, standards describing general guidelines, and standards describing sector-specific guidelines. Please note how there are normative and informative standards. Only normative standards can be audited for compliance. This allows organizations to get certified and demonstrate their abilities to outsiders. All standards specifying requirements are normative standards. All the other standards are informative standards. Let's have a closer look at standards describing overview and terminology first. This is the case for ISO 27000. As you can already tell from the title, this standard is all about overview and vocabulary in terms of information security management systems. This is also reflected in the scope and the purpose of this standard. So to sum it up, ISO 27000 serves as the foundation for all standards within this family. And the best part about this standard is the fact that it's available for free. All right, let's try to get a copy of ISO 27000. Therefore, we visit iso.org and open up this search query. Here we simply search for ISO 27000 and hit enter. Um, there we go. This takes us to this page and let's change the filter to standards. And there we go. Here is ISO 27000. And this takes us to the main page of the standard. So let's see what we can find here. Um, if we click on preview, we end up in the online browsing platform. And here you can have a, a preview at most standards available. Um, but don't get too excited. Without a subscription, you can only read the informative sections, which do not provide a ton of value. However, sometimes it's already helpful to have to study the, the table of contents to get a brief understanding um, of what a standard is all about. In the case of ISO 27000, the full version is available for free. Um, in order to get that, we simply follow the link provided um, in this banner right here. And you will end up on a list um, where all um, standards that are available for free are listed. Um, let's try to search for ISO 27000, just hit Control F, for example, hit Enter, and here we go. This is um, ISO 27000. Um, due to copyright protection, I cannot show you the actual content of the standard, so you got to have a look by yourself. All right, let's now focus on standard specifying requirements. Remember, these are the standards that contain actual mandates that can be audited for compliance. They are usually referred to as normative standards, which means organizations can get certified by external certification bodies in order to demonstrate compliance to outsiders. At the moment, there are four standards containing requirements. They are ISO 27001, ISO 27006, ISO 27009, and ISO 27701. ISO 27001 is the centerpiece of the ISO 27000 family of standards. It provides the basic requirements for an ISMS and is one of the most sought after management system certifications on the market. We are going to dedicate the entire next lecture on this standard, so we won't go into too much detail right now. For now, just be aware that this document specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, operating, monitoring, reviewing, maintaining, and improving a formalized ISMS. The purpose is also clear. It provides normative requirements, which can be audited for compliance. ISO 27006 specifies requirements for bodies providing ISO 27001 audits and certifications, which is not really relevant for this course. ISO 27009 defines requirements for sector-specific controls as addition to the base controls in ISO 27001. 
this is also not within the scope of this course. Just recently, ISO 27701 was released, and this standard contains requirements and guidelines on how to extend an ISMS to a privacy information management system. This should also not bother you, but it's good to know about these standards. As you can see, there is a ton of standards describing general and sector-specific guidelines. This slide only shows a small selection of these standards. Um, these standards provide guidance for all sorts of aspects within the context of implementing, establishing and running an ISMS. The ISO 27000 family of standards consists of around 100 different standards. Attached to this lecture, you can find a comprehensive list of the ISO 27000 family of standards. The list comes in a PDF form and it provides you with a comprehensive list of all the standards within the ISO 27000 family of standards.